We are made of star stuff. All right, folks. So, I just found some good news from the recent disaster hurricanes that killed so many people. There is hope. So, there's some some ways we can stop the hurricane from happening. One, we can fly supersonic jets into it. The wind stream will destroy the hurricane before it happens. Um, these are some pro proposed methods. I don't know which one uh, scientists plan on being using. Two, we can create a giant funnel to divert the warm water into the ocean. That's a way we can stop the hurricanes. So, so there's hope. So you know we're trying to really get you know rid of the natural disasters once and for all. Three, there's something called Project Storm Fury that these people are trying to work on, and um, Basically, it um, it's to uh, strengthen the clouds around the hurricane, create an outer wall, and then it can be destroyed and slowed down. Other proposed method is we can nuke the hurricane. Um, basically, just drop a bomb into the hurricane so it would stop it before it happens. So to blow the hurricane apart with hydrogen bombs. And I believe the last method they're proposing, probably probably was the best method, is lasers. You know, kill the hurricane from space with lasers before it even happens. And I think we can probably do this with all natural disasters. So I think this, this is going to be really good. So, I think once we get rid of all the natural disasters, it's going to be really, really great. And, you know, they're actually planning to um, drill underneath the mantle of the Earth so they can study more about why earthquakes happen. And, and if they, they're going to find out that... Uh, so what they plan on doing is plan to put, like, um, magnets underneath the Earth. So when the, how, when the earthquake happens, it, it will be stopped by the magnets, these powerful magnets... So in actuality, science is pretty much trying to get rid of all natural disasters. So we're going to kill the hurricanes with lasers, uh, tornadoes, and then p drill under the earth, put these huge magnets so there'll be no aftershocks and there'll be no shake. I mean, the shake would be just widely interrupted. And these magnets are super powerful. So this is a really, really, really cool stuff that scientists are doing to... I mean, this could save a lot of lives, especially the natural disaster, especially the hurricane that took so many people's lives, man. So this is going to be really, really cool. I think the future, a lot of potential for for being bright. I'm also excited for the, um, let's imagine if we had like transhumanists, you know, everybody's enhanced, you know. And then we had Olympics, transhumanist Olympics. So the most enhanced person would have to battle and see who would win. And they'd be totally... I mean, if you thought, like, you saying Bolt broke records, man. <laughs> with these enhanced capabilities, with transhumanism, we can, we're can. we talking about people can run faster than a cheetah, and the cheetah is the fastest animal. So we're going to have, like, people racing, um, animals, like, in... Um, <laughs> Or well, actually, they had a they had a show called like Man versus Beast or something like that, and they actually put the Beast versus Man in like in like these uh, trials to see who would win. I think they had a race, uh, like the animal was racing, and um, just like like eating contests, nothing nothing uh, brutal, you know, no brutal animal, no no hurting animals, just like. It's racing and, and then like eating contest. <laughs> oh, and a strength contest. I forgot who won. It was like an old show that called like Man vs. Beast or something like that. But if we had like Transhumans Olympics, you know, there'll be totally world records broken. I mean, beyond belief, you know. Uh, even faster than the same ball, even faster than the microphones. And then whoever would win, that'd be awesome. Because everybody's enhanced, but but everybody can't win, right? So whoever would win, it would be very interesting. And, um, and I think this would create, um, a society that's, um, you know, everybody won't feel ashamed because everybody has a potential to be the best, to modify the body the way they want, you know, to cure any virus, disease, and illness, and, 
and people can, you know, everybody can be equal. Everybody can be as, as best as you want. And if, you know, people will be, you know, will, will think they're super, you can just go ahead and <laughs> make yourself even more powerful or super or not. I mean, it's going to make a better level playing field for everybody. So I think, I think there's a lot of opportunity, um, you know, especially, and especially all the babies won't have no viruses, no abnormalities and diseases because all this process is random. You know, it's not like a God, you know, giving this person cancer <laughs> because there's no really God and there's no plan. You know, it's, it's random, you know, it's, People are going to be born with virus disease or baby born with cancer. Um, and, you know, people always wonder how to explain this. But, of course, science is now explaining this. That it's no God involved and it's no, you know, sin and it's no, like, random, you know, God punishing people. That is the days of old explanations. There's no punishing. There's a lot of randomness in the universe and non-randomness. And that's why it's very complex. It's not, like, all random it's a little randomness and non-randomness. And it's a whole process, you know, involved probably by some alien beings that programmed everything. And then everything naturalistic came to evolve. And the universe comes out of nothing with zero energy. And, you know, we have different universes. We're just in one universe. So I think it's going to be very interesting once we get to the multiverse, we can find out the different laws of the universe and... Um, because we have our laws, you know, maybe gravity goes up, you know, <laughs> in another universe or something. Maybe it's totally different. So I think the future is going to be very bright. Um, you know, I mean, really living eternally, treating any virus, disease, um, stopping natural disasters once and for all. So getting rid of all the natural disasters, it's, it's phenomenal. So, um... So even though there's no God in the universe, there's a lot of things those scientists are, are doing to make the universe even better, you know? Especially, you know, getting rid of all the virus diseases and living forever and finally getting rid of all the natural disasters. <laughs> so no, no more people have to die because, I mean, it's, it's pretty much random, you know? It's the disasters. It's... Uh, well, I mean, that's not totally random. Um, there's a process to it. <laughs> there's a process of hurricanes. There's a process of an earthquake. And, um, you know, a lot of shit blew, blew up back then, you know. rocks. The rocks fell on the planet. You know, I've watched these science videos. A lot, of, a lot of stuff happened, you know. That's why there's so many craters on the moon. A lot of shit hit planets and, and blew up and comets and asteroids. And, I mean, what do we have, like five extinctions? And it's possible there's going to be a sixth 